Yo, what's up guys? This is Mike Troid, and you are joining me for a brand new video tutorial here in Pokemon Emerald. Now, before we get into today's tutorial, I very strongly recommend that you uh, check out my Kecleon hunting tutorial if you guys haven't seen that. I'll put a link up in the corner, but um, definitely will help this hunt to make a lot more sense. But basically, um, this is going to be kind of like a sequel to that video because we're going to use the same method to hunt Sudowoodo, as you can see, in the Battle Frontier. So, unfortunately, there's a lot more setup that's required for this hunt than if you were to do it in, say, Gen 2 or Gen 4. Uh, but it is a very unique way to hunt Sudowoodo, and I've seen a few people do it. And quite frankly, I just think it's awesome. So, uh, I wanted to make a video about it. But um, I'm going to show you a few of the things here that you need in order to set up for this hunt. So, first and foremost is going to be a single Pokemon in your party with the move either Self-Destruct or Explosion. I believe on my last tutorial someone actually mentioned that Memento works as well. Um, so basically any kind of self-KO move. But um, I do want to make a small note that, uh, obviously I'm using this level 19 ball toy, but when you do the hunt, unless you plan on Master Balling the Sudowoodo as a shiny, then you probably want a higher level uh, self-KO Pokemon, either Claydol or Weezing or something like that, just so that when you do find the shiny, uh, you know, it doesn't KO your only Pokemon and then you fail it. So, just wanted to give you that heads up. Um, additionally, I'm going to show you in the bag here that um, I have my Whalmer Pail as my selected item all the way down here. In order to get this item, you have to visit the flower shop, which is north of Petalburg Woods, south of Rustboro City. Uh, you just talk to one of the NPCs and she gives it to you for free. So you're going to need this, and I recommend putting it um, on your select hotkey there. And then the final piece of setup here, as you can see on my trainer card, I have uh, quite a bit of money, over 100,000 Poké Dollars. You're going to want to spend as much money as possible because, uh, as I previously mentioned, you're going to be self-KOing, and every time you white out, you lose half your money. So, uh, unfortunately, there's no way to store money in this game like there is in Gen 2, so you're going to have to spend it either on items, TMs, game corner tokens, whatever you want, but uh, just get the most efficient use out of your money before attempting this hunt, otherwise you're just going to lose it. So. With that out of the way, I'm going to show you where the Sudowoodo is. We're going to go ahead and run... Well, we're actually going to get a call, randomly. <laughs> Didn't expect that. That is one thing I actually really dislike about Pokemon Emeralds, if I'm honest. But anyways, we're going to run over here to the east. Around here to the side of this uh, kind of foresty area. And then as you can see, all the way tucked in this corner is Sudowoodo. So I'm going to go ahead, press select, or uh, L and R on my GameCube controller. And then, pretty much like any other game where you encounter Sudowoodo, you're going to spray it, it doesn't like the water, and then it attacks you. Now, obviously, this one is just a normal Sudowoodo. So, we're going to go ahead and self-destruct. And, uh, I got this question as well on my last tutorial. If the Sudowoodo KOs you, that's fine as well. Basically, our goal is just to white out here. And then we're going to spawn back at this Pokemon Center uh, here in the Battle Frontier. I forgot to mention that before, but you want to heal at this Pokemon Center before starting this hunt to ensure that this is your spawn point. And the reason this hunt works, very similar to the Kecleon, is that you pretty much spawn right next to the overworld sprite of the Pokemon that you're hunting. So it doesn't take very long at all to just run back over to it and then uh, start the whole process again. And for those that may have missed it, the reason that we're doing this is because in Pokemon Emerald, uh, unfortunately you can't really soft reset for Shinies because of the way RNG works. And I recommend checking out my uh, Emerald Starters tutorial if you're not quite sure what I mean by that. But, um, you know, soft resetting is not really an option for us here. So this is basically a workaround where we can generate new Sudowoodo without having to reset the game, and that keeps the frames running. I also want to mention, um, really quick, you can see the Sudowoodo is a male, and actually I noticed, I didn't, I didn't say it, but if you look back in the video, the previous one was female, which shows you that basically every time you do this process, you're generating a new Sudowoodo. So, um, you know, same thing as the Kecleon video. If you notice that the male and female genders are alternating, that's a good thing because that means that you are generating 
uh, new Pokemon, and each one has the true potential to be shiny. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for this tutorial. I hope you guys found it useful, or at the very least, interesting. I know I think it's a really cool hunt, so hopefully it inspires one of you guys to try it. But, uh, yeah, please let me know what you think of this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions or suggestions for future hunting tutorials. I would love to hear those. And uh, I just want to mention that we also stream live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday at twitch.tv forward slash MikeTroid34. So if you'd like to join us for some live shiny hunting, that would be awesome. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Good luck on your hunts, and as always, take care.